and Lister pushes aside the humiliating newspaper ad, refusing to be intimidated by the public mockery of her sexuality. And Walker is shocked to learn that her family has conspired with Captain Sutherland over the Walker estate and she suspects Parker. When a terrible letter arrives at Shipman Hall, aimed at shattering Anne's faith in her wife, the already visible flaws in their marriage are driven open. Last week's dramatic episode showed that a mysterious figure is conspiring against Anne Lister after news of her secret union with Anne Walker was published in York newspapers. Marion was chastised by her sister when she revealed she was planning to marry Mr. Abbott, whom the rest of the family despised, and Aunt Anne Lister's deteriorating health remained a source of concern, while the election frenzy in Halifax resulted in riots. In Episode 6, a stunning death in the shape of Mr. Sunderland occurred amid ongoing political difficulties, as well as the mystery of who is attempting to ruin Walker and Lister's lives as companions. Here's a recap of what happened in Episode 6, including new revelations from both sides of the family. Mr. Sunderland, Aunt Ann Lister's doctor, died suddenly, Marion says. We just got a note from Dr. Kinney. He and Dr. Chubb were with him all night last night, and he died just after midnight. Apparently, he was knocked down and after the election results. He must have been caught up and smashed his head, she explained. They believe he was trampled. But, with Lister preparing to become more actively involved in future elections, may she be putting her family and those closest to her in danger. After receiving a clip from one of the York papers, Lister's father, Jeremy Lister, was drawn into the tale of the marriage announcement. While assuring his daughter that no one else had seen it, he responded harshly, telling her, If you didn't call attention to how unusual you are, they wouldn't do these things. Mariana subsequently implied that she might have been behind the surprise reveal, even if her former lover isn't aware of it yet. Walker unwillingly made a visit to her elderly aunt to clear the air about her intentions regarding her portion of the estate. Anne, on the other hand, gave no sympathy, reminding Walker that she had appointed Lister as her executor the previous year. I made her my executor, but I wouldn't change the provisions of my will without notifying you, even if others have behaved as they have, she informed her aunt of Lister. I had anticipated with all this conversation, you had already amended the will itself in Lister's favor her relative replied, and then revealed the ultimate secret. I changed mine when you moved into Shibin. I removed you from it, for Elizabeth's sake. So, what does this mean for Walker's money and security, as well as her ability to plan forward with her husband? Walker receives a letter from an unknown new pen friend warning her about her lover and begging her to leave Lister alone. Dear Miss Walker, I am afraid this will not reach you, but if it does, please do not reveal it to Miss Lister. Bad luck? Check out Lister. However much you think this woman is your buddy, I can assure you that she is not. Are you genuinely oblivious of this woman's dreadful reputation? I see she's already shut you off from your family and friends, and believe me when I say you're in serious danger. She will seduce you, and before you realize it, she will have defrauded you of everything you own. It continued, before mentioning Eliza Rain, a character from the past. Eliza's been in an asylum in York for the last twenty-odd years, and I see her occasionally for old time's sake, but she is violent, Lister revealed to her companion. She's attacked me on several occasions. She'll never be able to live alone the way she is now. But how important is the disturbed woman in Lister's life now, and will we ever find out why she was committed to an asylum? Walker's family attempted to set her up with a family friend earlier in season two, but she declined to take hand in marriage. However, she had other family wishes that Lister could not fulfill in 1834, resulting in a feud between the two of her children. I always anticipated having my own children one day, Walker admitted. I had imagined myself as a mother, but not with a man. It's a tremendous shame you won't be able to have children, her partner responded. It's something I'll never be able to give you, just as we'll never be able to have a piece of paper stating that we're in a legal relationship. Lister stated as she made an impassioned plea for assurance of Walker's devotion, knowing that children were out of the question. Walker responded, I want to be with you more than anything else in the world, before assuring her wife she'd start packing for their latest trip to Europe. 